Greetings and welcome to another EX run. This one is the Fangs of Promise EX level 100 stage for Fangs event. I'll be bringing along Ferris, Selfie, and Beatrix with a Setzer support and Bahamut summon. So the bosses on the final wave, uh, on top of inflicting some pretty annoying debuffs, uh, turn right down and max brave down. They also buff themselves with some ridiculous buffs. So that's what Ferris is here for. Uh, Ferris is going to uh, dispel uh, all of their buffs with one use of cannon fire, and then hopefully inflict a ton onto them as well. So uh, Ferris is really, really useful here just for keeping um, the enemies in check because they just do really, really annoying stuff. And these bosses do have a mechanic where if you uh, kill one, then his friend gets really mad and powers up. So uh, if you're not using a Dispeller or a Debuffer to push those buffs off, you're going to want to kill these guys almost simultaneously because if you don't, things will get out of hand really quick. Nice. Yeah, it's actually been a it's been a few uh, events since I've used Selfie last, so it's good to get her back in the party. Forgot how good that uh, tr uh, Life of Travia buff is on her end. Okay, so hopefully uh, Wall does its job and guards against most of this uh, this guy's stuff right here. Okay, um, yeah, let's just, let's Thunder Slash, okay, and that'll be the last Thunder Slash I use for the final wave. Alright, come on, wall. Ha! <laughs> just a speed down on Ferris, I will, I'll take that, oh man, that's really nice. Alright, Ferris, can you put this guy away for us? Perfect. Okay, this is going really well so far. Well, I'm thinking about using the EX just to just to save some turns here. No, 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 I'm not gonna do that. Okay, uh, and then yeah, Ferris, attack him. Uh, this last wave was really slow. I didn't want to use another drain. That sucks. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so uh, jump cut. Um, yeah, these guys, uh, you have to keep their buffs under control. If you don't, you're just going to get your, your butt handed to you. Okay, so this actually works out really well here. Um, so Beatrix is going to break A, which is going to push back the all attack. But, however, it lets B still get his turn off. So he's going to buff them up. Okay, that's fine. And now Ferris is just going to just wipe all those buffs away. Whew. 200 damage. <laughs> yeah, so this these bosses, um, with the buffs up, they take hardly any damage. Their attack power skyrockets. So you have to keep buff control. You have to do something. So, um... If you, you know, either push the buffs off, or if you prefer, preferably have Ferris, she dispels, lays a whole bunch of really nice nifty buffs down. Um, yeah, it's, this fight is, oof, it's something all right. And then, uh, I think I mentioned earlier, but just in case I didn't, um, it's bear, it bears repeating that these guys have a gimmick where if you kill one, then uh, they freak out and they put all the buffs back on that you just took off. Or that have, you know, might have taken off. Okay, so this is going to be a big HP attack. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. 
So with Bahamut up, Freeze Joker is going to be doing a ton of damage. He's also going to be battering uh, the entire party constantly. So, yeah, some good stuff going on here. Okay, make sure that... Ooh, Sophie's jumping ahead of Beatrix. Yeah, you know what? Let's drain. Yeah, if you guys, uh, if you guys don't have, um, a friend sets her on your friends list, um, definitely get one. Uh, as you're seeing here, he's just, he's doing some, some crazy, crazy stuff right here in the summon. So, Sessions got two turns left, so I'm going to keep A alive and just focus on B here. Yeah. Throw on St. Cloth here. 107 damage. 90 damage a hit. Oh my god. Okay. Um, Okay, so Setch is about to be swapped out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Thunder Slash. Kill A, which is going to make B go Berserk. He's going to refresh all of his buffs. Just in time for... Bye-bye <laughs> buffs. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, let's just use a wall here. St. Cloth here, just to play it safe. So he doesn't get a ton of brave from a break. Because I knew, yeah, I knew this AoE HP attack was coming. Alright, let's get that break. Oh, I'm perfect. Rip Shaman. Boom. <laughs> yeah, wow. With Noble Loyalty, Wall, and then Ferris's debuffs on these guys, they they weren't doing jack per hit. Okay, so top score is 155,000. Hunt. We hit it, 161. Okay. Cool. Okay, well... Um, yeah, guys, I guess that's it for that run. Um, I don't know if I'll redo this run, try and get a little bit higher score. Uh, but if not, thank you all so much for watching. Yeah, this one you really have to, like I mentioned before, you have to keep those buffs that they land on each other uh, under control. So whether that means pushing them off uh, with buffs, uh, debuffs, or dispelling them with, uh, you know, Vanille, her dispel, or, um, you know, Ferris... Obviously, cannon fire, super, super helpful. But, uh, yeah, this one is this one can be really, really tough um, if you don't have the proper setup. Or you can just run launch, and I'm sure launch will launch will hand this one its ass, too. So, um, but I don't know. I, I'm not, I, you know, I haven't ran any launch on this, so I don't know. Anyways, so good luck in your guy runs, guys. Um, yeah, let me know your scores. Best of luck. 
And uh, I gotta say, I was a little disappointed to see Titus get swapped up for Zell. I was probably gonna chase Titus' EX a little bit uh, with some tickets, see if I could get it. But with him being uh, replaced for Zell, eh. So, yeah, guys, good luck in your runs, good luck in your draws. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.